Alright, so I'm back, and today we're going to combine uh, Battle Slash and Road Trap into Battle Trap. Um, the, the combined mode that I'm sure we're all, but you all have been dying to see me, me do, uh, because this is a very important figure. I'm being sarcastic, in case you didn't know. Um, you know, this is just the fill-in while we're waiting for more figures to come out. Uh, so let's start with uh, uh, Road Trap here. So we want to fold uh, his arms back like this, I believe, right? It's been a little while since I combined him. Yeah. So we'll fold these arms to the back, kind of out of the way. And then you want to rotate this piece here, it's on a, this hinge here, uh, down to the bottom, like when he was in uh, his car mode. You rotate that down like that, and then you can fold this to the back, and then this will just kind of tab in like it was in car mode. So there's a little tab and slot here, and tab here goes in that slot there. So just kind of just like that, and. Voila. That's really all there is to it. Nothing overly complicated. Uh, so we'll just set him off to the side for now. And now we'll take a look at what's his name? Battle Slash. Um, so with him, um, first thing we're going to do is uh, pull this piece here back so we can get the arms out of the way. And then we can fold this piece forward and flip the uh, head down, close that back up, and then flip up his new robot head. And then we want to take this assembly here, rotate this out, up, and then it accordions in like that. Just like that. Then you fold this piece here in, and then you take the arms here and you fold them back and you want to just kind of arrange these things so that they're, I believe there's a way for them to tab in if I remember correctly. Oh yes, okay. So you rotate the propeller all the way in and then this piece can rotate in like this and there's a tab here and the, or this tab here plugs into that slot there. So you just kind of line those up and tab those in and then just kind of collapse that the best you can. It keeps everything pretty well clean on the back and uh, pretty well good locked in. And then you take him and you just take the robot head here and you just insert it into the torso piece. Just like that. And there you have Battle Trap. And overall, um, <laughs> a very successful little guy. Um, while the individual guys uh, suffer the most because of the fact that they shoehorned in those um, the individual little robots, uh, at the end of the day, this guy is actually pretty successful. Um, for posability, his head is on a swivel. Uh, you got left, right. Uh, he's got blue... Blue, uh, yeah, it's painted. So blue painted head, uh, looks like uh, face and visor, so good paint going on there. Uh, Decepticon logo, all that. Um, ball jointed elbows, uh, which can fold out if you needed to. Um, ball jointed elbow, uh, so sh ball jointed shoulders, sorry. And ball jointed elbows. Um, waist swivels. Uh, it gets a little caught up because of the propeller blade, um, but you can you can move all this stuff out of the way if you really wanted to. And then the uh, hips are on ball joints, so you get the up and down, in and out, thigh swivel. Um, he does have a, L, a knee bend, and it all, it, it all kind of starts coming undone, so you just kind of want to just be careful on how you want to configure it. Um, his... 
His foot's kind of on a ball joint here, and there's a hinge here as well. So you get you get a fairly decent range of motion out of him. Uh, his legs are more cumbersome than the torso, um, but overall he's not bad. And then you put him with his uh, his buddy here. Um, what's his name again? His real name, not his uh, new name. Flywheels. I think he's called Skytread and Siege, but Flywheels. So, so yeah, uh, they look pretty good together. Um, yeah, it, this guy makes me like this guy more, and I didn't hate this guy to begin with. Um, I like this guy, this guy better because of the the fact that his individual halves are definitely um, they're they're more coherent because of the fact that they're only the halves. They're, they don't try to shoehorn in another little robot like these guys did. Um, so this guy's more successful, but this guy is is pretty decent, and together they look good um, to finally have like a team. Uh, he doesn't have a rifle or gun or anything like that, so if you have an extra one laying around somewhere, then I'd recommend giving it to him. I had one, but I don't know where... Oh, there it is. Let's see if I can give him a dab. There you go. Um, so overall, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Um... Uh, the individual modes are fails. Uh, I don't recommend them on their own, really. But together, I, I, I can recommend the, the, the set. Um, and since these guys are more expensive, it's about the same price. Um, and then, you know, because I'm sure there's a lot of people that like to do this, you can... If you wanted to, you can untab these sections, and they are interchangeable. So you can take this guy, plug him in. So it's just one of those fun little toy features with these guys. So you can you can make some match parts if you like. Uh, this looks pretty solid here. The legs are the weakest part. Um, Part of me is tempted on buying a second one of these guys just so I could have a second pair of legs for this guy. <laughs> just so that he has a little bit of a better uh, leg setup than just paint it blue or something. Uh, but overall, um, they're, they're good. Um, they're fun. Uh, and they're because of the, the feature where they can mix and match, it's a fun. It's just, it adds to the fun of the toy, um, which is definitely nice so yeah um yeah i do i recommend it um you know if you see them laying around especially if you see them on clearance i, I know they were on clearance not too long ago uh i think they were ten dollars a piece when i bought them but i've seen them for like five bucks a piece here and there um so if you can get them on clearance even better if not you know it's fine um but yeah overall they're they're pretty good um like I said, I, I, I do I do recommend them. They're fun. They're not great, but they are fun. So, so yeah, I guess that's it.